your prospecting and marketing doesn't change at all from the core concept that you would do for anybody as a, as a farm, as a FISBO, as an open house, as an expired, as a referral. You need to actively prospect, you need to actively market to stay top of mind. Mind share will lead you to market share. So we want to cultivate this. And a couple of weeks back, we talked about the farm. We talked about there's three different types of farm, geographical, demographical, psychographical. This is just a demographical farm, isn't it? It's, it's an industry. It's an industry and an occupation that was one of the farms. And we actually say, if you are looking to identify your farm, look in the mirror, what, what demographic buttons do you click from 40 year old male, likes outdoors, likes fishing, is a realtor, does UCF alumni, spend a stint in Chicago, right? These are all me, realtor is one of them. So this becomes a farm, treat them like a farm. What are the steps that we farm agent to agent? Well, the same way you would farm a neighborhood. You can do a 12 direct, to establish a conversation. The conversation leads to an eight by eight to cement the relationship. The eight by eight converts to a 36 touch to maintain the relationship and stay top of mind. It's no different folks. Do the same thing, get intentional with how many ages do I want in my network and what cities do I want them from. Go get intentional about building that business and building that network and don't overthink it. There are clients in your database who can offer referrals. My number one referral source uh, this last year, and she didn't buy or sell with me. It was a trusted family member, and she referred it, and, and she was able to provide many, many opportunities. We're very grateful for that. And they never bought or sold anything themselves. So this is where the agent can come in for that aspect. Oh.